because of all the response that I got from the last video on the demo part I decided to spend a little bit more time and go into a more detail about these coils. Now the arrow means that the wire comes in here and goes around and around and around and around and ends up here. I also marked the top and bottom. Also I added a dot here which means this is the part that goes up to the scope here. I also wound another coil. This coil, when I hook it up, this dot is going to go right there. This one, it's wound in this direction, round and round and round, until it comes out here. This is the setup for the primary coil. And we take a look at the top of the coil where the arrow and the dot is. That wire goes over to channel 1 of the oscilloscope and also down to the output of the signal generator. Now at the bottom of the coil we have going to ground and that ground is also the ground of the signal generator and of the oscilloscope. And I drew it that way just so the drawing would not be so cluttered with wires. Here is a drawing of the secondary that is wound in the same direction as the primary. And as you can see at the top, the wire goes to channel 2 and the other wire goes to the ground connection of the oscilloscope. Here is the secondary that has been wound in the other direction and it's the same setup as the first secondary at the top. It goes to channel 2 and the bottom of the secondary winding goes to the ground of the oscilloscope. Okay, just as before, these two coils side by side. This is the primary, this is the secondary. They're out of phase. And when I turn this over, they're now in phase. I'm going to slip the secondary over the primary. Now they're in phase. Now they're out of phase. Here's the new coil. Now, of course, the primary is running in that direction, and the wire was wound on the new coil in this direction. And sitting side by side, you can see in that situation they're in phase and of course if I turn this over now they're out of phase Now when I put this over the primary, it's out of phase. And of course when I turn this over, 
its end phase. In the more information section of this video, that's in the upper right hand corner, I have a link to these pictures. I have drawn eight pictures that depict all eight scenarios shown in this video. So if you have a need to rewind a coil someday, you have to pay attention to how the coil is wound, the gauge used, and the number of turns.